Hi, today we are making a reusable timer component for Unity. This component allows us to execute different methods when the timer ends. And in the process, I also want to explore the benefits of writing small components. So I often find myself writing components like these. Enemy needs to be spawned every few seconds. And in my spawner component, I'll do an invoke repeating call, which creates my enemies. But then I'll also need some extra enemies to be spawned every other seconds or when some trigger happens. And I'll just keep on adding more and more code in this class. As the project grows, this tiny little class turns into this huge mess of a component, which has like 16 different variables and doing 10 different things. For instance, in this project, let's try to break apart a spawner component and create a reusable timer, which could be used on its own. Let's add a script called timer. It needs to run every few seconds, so create a float variable called run every. And on enable, we will use invoke repeating to call a method called execute with our run every variable. We would also like to control if we should run the methods on awake when this script is loaded. So create a boolean variable for that. And in on enable, if this variable is true, we can invoke this method once right there. And I'm thinking maybe have a boolean variable called loop and only do the invoke repeating call if the loop is checked on. Otherwise, we invoke this method only once after the timer ends. And now let's define the execute method. I would like this component to allow methods to be plugged in from the inspector. For this, we can use Unity's Unity event class. I'll create a Unity event variable called onTimerEnd and just invoke this event inside the execute method. Now we have a timer component that can be added to any object. It does only one thing, run a timer and call some methods. I'll go back to my spawner class and remove the spawn every logic since I'll be using the new timer component instead. So in my on timer event, I'll add a new item, drag the same object and choose the public spawn method. What this means is that every two seconds or every few seconds, this timer will execute this spawn method. I can do the same for other spawners and maybe change some values to get the spawn I like. And you can see that the spawn works just as before. Of course, this was a pretty small example, but the benefit of composing your game this way is that you could start to add new features without messing with the spawner code. For instance, let's say I want to open some kind of gate every time the enemy spawns. I could have placed that code in the spawner itself, but now that we have a timer script, we can use that to add this new behavior. So I have this hellgate prefab that has a sprite and it kind of animates when we load it. I also have a gate spawner that just spawns this gate thing whenever I call the spawn method. Now in my timer script, I'll add one more method on the timer end event and just call the hellgate spawn method. You can see now that we are using the same timer script to just add something new in the game. And what if I want this gate to destroy after a while? So rather than adding this time logic in the gate spawner, I can add the timer component to the hellgate prefab itself and also attach a reusable component called destroyer that just destroys itself when called. And you can see that the gate destroys itself after some time. And we can also use the same timer component on camera to get the color cycling effect. So I have this color cycling component which can take an array of colors and cycle the camera's background color when we call the public method called cycle. Here, I add the timer component on camera and set it to execute the color cycler every five seconds. And you can see that the color cycles when the timer hits. And of course we can change the settings to get the effect we need. Now I'm not saying that we all must do this. I mean, you might not need such tiny components, but it could be something to keep in mind when designing your game. Sometimes you will discover some new game mechanic just by rearranging these components in different ways. You can find this timer code and the color cycler code on GitHub if you need. I'll share the links below. It was fun making this video. I'll see you next time. Cheers.